Gentlemen. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for uh, the opportunity to make a comment on this bill. And it was it was encouraging to hear um, uh, the spirit of bipartisanship uh, reaching across the room from uh, our friend Mr. Cunliffe. And uh, the thing the thing that the thing that surprised me was uh, why he wasn't quite so focused on doing sensible things when they had uh, when they introduced this excessively generous scheme uh, that left us. Uh, that this government inherited the successively generous scheme which was uh, wide and billowing with very few checks and balances and uh, they didn't do anything about uh, drawing in the full uh, income of households and just opened the, the gate as wide as possible and encouraged people to borrow as much as possible and never pay it back and uh, that has left uh, and of course that kind of activity, that attitude, uh, that lassitude you might say extended to every aspect of government spending under, uh, uh, through the 2000s and uh, saw government spending increase uh, by 50% during those fat years and uh, up to the point of 35% of GDP and this government has been about trying to restore some order to the nation's books and get us back on track to surplus. Uh, in a very difficult and dangerous world, and so this this uh, piece of legislation, this piece of legislation, uh, which I am drawing back here to part three, uh, is all about that important task uh, of making the student loan scheme more sustainable. So when we look at clause uh, 63 uh, through to 66, it's about um, uh, working on some of those little minutiae, uh, which is uh, about just really uh, getting some boundaries around the scheme. And encouraging, uh, so making the student loan scheme sustainable in the future, uh, reducing the need for more government borrowing, and preparing students uh, for uh, for the way ahead. And, and we, we shouldn't f shouldn't forget that the New Zealand student loan scheme is one of the most generous in the world. And some uh, some may say there's only so much we can spend on tertiary education, uh, and if we devote all of it to uh, subsidising uh, um, uh, uh, student-free loans for people who can and should be paying it back faster. Uh, interest-free student loans, then that is less money that we can invest in the investment. So when we look down to the details, so what have we done? Uh, um, just, uh, it's worth recapping briefly in the changes that we made uh, over the last few years have, have reduced the cost of government from about 40 cent, 48 cents in every dollar that's loaned uh, a, a truly horrendous uh, uh, cost to uh, other people who are paying the bill uh, down to 39 cents and we're trying to get it down further. And so uh, this is a significant achievement, and the, it's a demonstration of the government's priority. So when we look at, uh, and w so when we look at uh, the budget 2012, repealing the voluntary payment uh, repayment bonus uh, and increasing the repayment rate from 10% to 12%, that has uh, significantly increased the speed with which these loans are repaid. And so, so students can get on with their lives, uh, safe in the knowledge that they've made good progress on uh, their loans and save for houses and so forth, and uh, the taxpayer is not unduly, uh, unduly uh, bent out of shape. Uh, just the main provisions there, I just wanted to draw attention to the question of uh, the definition of income being broadened for student loan repayment purposes. Uh, to align more closely with uh, that excellent... Does it include interest uh, from bank accounts? Uh, no, it doesn't, but it, 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 it's the same income used for determining an entitlement for, to, for working in families' tax credits. And we have uh, Minister Bennett here in the House who has done such a good job on the welfare area. So uh, th these changes, and these changes in Part 3, are uh, absolutely common sense. Uh, they, let's, uh, why do we do this? Because it's about people paying back their debts to other New Zealanders. That's what this bill is about, and it's only fitting and proper. And I, uh, I have been disappointed that we were left with such a uh, wide and billowing scheme uh, which was unaffordable and unsustainable. And this bill is a number of small, targeted, well-crafted well well steps to bring this scheme back to a more sustainable level. Uh, so that we can continue to support our students, continue to support our students at university and build, and build, uh, Mr Chair, that brighter future for which we all aspire. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, yes, fine. <laughs>